is it that men do this? Men do this because it's so easy for them to get away with it. Not in a single case that I encountered was there any comeback for the men. No criminal prosecutions. What he gets away with is abusing women, gaining financially, gaining sexually. So we make it very easy for men to get away with this abuse. So I've come to Punjab in the north of India and I'm here because this is a region with strong family ties to the UK and that means that this is a journey that some British Asian men still make if they want to find a wife. The phenomenon of the abandoned bride happens when those wives are used for dowry, money paid by the bride's family to the husbands, abused and then dumped. Some are abandoned after coming to the UK, but most are taken back to India, often on a pretend holiday, and some never leave at all. I've come to meet Sunita, whose name I've changed. Her husband made that journey from the UK and they got married here in Punjab. मेरी शादी पैलेस में हुई थी तो सब कुछ अच्छा हुआ था बड़ी वाली शादी हुई थी सब कुछ हुआ था शादी के बाद मेरे साथ 25 दिन मेरे साथ इंडिया में रहे वंस सिनेटर्स हस्बैंड वेंट बैक टू द यूके थिंग्स चेंज्ड बाद में इंग्लैंड वापस चला गया बाद एक साल होने लगा वो वापस नहीं आया उसको काफी तरफ मैंने बोला तुम इंडिया आ रहे हो इंडिया आ रहे हो अभी नहीं आऊंगा फिर आऊंगा कभी फिर कहूंगा ऐसे ऐसे बोलता गया बाद में उसने मेरे साथ फोन से बात करने भी बंद कर दी बोलता अब मेरी तुम वाइफ नहीं हो अब ऐसे बोल रहा है सुनीता आल्सो फाउंड आउट हर हस्बैंड वाज ऑलरेडी मैरिड शी वाज लेफ्ट इन इंडिया एंड इग्नोर्ड व्हाई डू यू थिंक ही मैरिड यू पता नहीं क्यों उसने ऐसा मेरे साथ किया मुझे तो नहीं पता मेरे साथ मेरे साथ ऐसा क्यों किया घर वालों की चाल थी दे चाहिए था क्या चाहिए था ये मुझे नहीं मालूम जब मेरे साथ मेरे डिमांड भी उसने बहुत की है कभी पैसा लाओ कभी फ्रीचर लाओ मैंने डेढ़ लाख रुपए भी उसको ऐसे ही दिया बिना मांग करता रहा मेरे साथ पीट मार भी हो गई साथ सात सुर भी मुझे मारते रहे जब मैं पूछती उसकी वाइफ थी मेरे साथ क्यों शादी उसकी मनाई तो वो बहुत मुझे मारते थे ऐसे बोलने पर 1.5 lakh rupees is almost 2000 pounds and Sunita's family also gave his around 4000 pounds worth of gold She's back with her family her father is sitting near her as we talk he's devastated too they're struggling for money and the consequences of being abandoned What does it mean for the woman left behind For the woman abandoned it means the end of a her status in society she's seen as damaged goods um primarily because the assumption is she's had sex that stigma is massive and um it cannot be overcome and it, it has an impact on other people in the family so her sisters for example would find it harder to get married she would find it very difficult to get a job uh, and she faces day to day um uh, financial insecurity Anita met more than 50 women in India who'd been abandoned after marrying men living overseas, most in the UK. Some had paid as much as 25,000 pounds as a dowry. She met one woman raped by her new husband and then abandoned. She started facing pressure from her mother-in-law uh, who wanted a grandchild. She came back from work and her mother-in-law gave her a glass of milk and she doesn't remember anything that happened later and she woke up the next day with um, bruises all over her body. She was completely traumatized. Is this how a relationship, a sexual relationship happens? Another woman was left in India and used as a domestic slave by her new in-laws. She was a slave in that household. They monitored what she ate. The food was served and was put on the floor and they would push it with their feet towards her. How do you feel about what happened to you? उसने मेरे साथ रिलेशन कैम किए रिलेशन मेरे साथ बनाए उसने तो मेरी जिंदगी तो खराब हो चुकी हुई है पर मुझे अब इंसाफ चाहिए मे 
Many people living here in Punjab move overseas. So this building is somewhat immigration central in Punjab. This is where you come if you want English lessons, marriage advice, visa help. British immigration lawyer Harjat Bangal comes here around once a month to advise people on immigration issues. We've had cases where guys from the UK have got, had girlfriends and have had no intention of leaving them. They've had kids secretly. I had a case last year, a guy was divorced and he'd had a kid from his previous marriage. He'd married here and the first time that woman got to know about it was when she turned up in the office. He says he has been able to help women in the past that have been abandoned after living in the UK. So we had a case once where there was a guy from the UK and he married a girl from India, brought to the UK, had a child there, and the whole motive of the guy was to just to have a child. So he brought the wife back on a pretense of a holiday, leaving the child in the UK, then ripped up her passport and then left her. And technically that's just keeping her away from her child, it's almost kidnapping. We contacted the police, the police got involved with the embassy, we managed to get her brought back to the UK, managed to get her husband arrested. But where the cases are where they've never been invited to the UK, that's a problem. There's not much really the UK can really do about it because they're going to say, hold on, we haven't got jurisdiction, you've never set foot into the UK. Harjap's also going on local TV to give immigration advice. So how often do you do this show? I do it whenever I'm here, so I do at least one show. And um, but they do the show all the time, and they interview like doctors as well and accountants. He's had calls before from abandoned brides, but this time it's a husband that's been left behind. Hanji. America. Ha. Okay. Forced marriage kitty, if you want to be It's a common problem. I mean, usually abandoned brides, that's an abandoned husband. So uh, the best thing to do here is to see a tip police report. So you report it to the police here. Forced marriage is another problem raised when marriages cross continents and husband and wife don't know each other well. In this case, the wife had a very good reason to not want her husband to move to America with her. Harjap says he sees far more women abandoned than men. He thinks the British government needs to do something about it. There should be a law in the UK where even if deception is international and the guy comes back to live in the UK, and he's, because he's used his passport to gain an advantage. Therefore, the UK government should then say to these people, right, actually, you've abused your privilege as a British citizen, and therefore, we're going to do something about it. This report by Lincoln University also calls for action from the British state. Pragna Patel is a campaigner and worked with academics on the research. What needs to be done? Tackle this. Abandonment should be recognised as an aspect of domestic violence because it involves emotional, sexual, financial, physical, coercive behaviour and abuse. Once it is, then all the legal avenues that should be open to women either to seek protection or prosecution or other legal remedies would be available to abandoned women. <laughs> Is it the British state's responsibility when these women are from South Asia and this is happening in South Asia? The perpetrators are British nationals. If the British state turns a blind eye or is indifferent to this, then it is contributing to that culture of impunity. These men are not held to account by anyone. Should the responsibility of the state not be to citizens here first? Only last week, South All Black Sisters had a case which involved a perpetrator abusing and abandoning women in five different circumstances. So he was a serial offender. I think that in a globalised world, we have to wake up to the fact that violence in transnational spaces is a new and emerging form of violence against women. Yeah.